Welcome back everyone. In this video, I want to briefly take a look at typing class components. It might so happen that you're working on a project that's been in development for a few years now and you're going to come across class-based components. At the very minimum, knowing how to type props and state is pretty useful, which is what we are going to do in this video. Let's begin. I have created a new folder in the components folder called class. Within the folder, I have created a file called counter.tsx. As the name indicates, this is a class component that implements a counter functionality. Let me walk you through the code we have right now. So we have class counter, which extends component from React. Within the component, we have state, which maintains the count value. We also have a handle click method, which increments the count value by one based on the previous count value. In the JSX, we have a button on click of which we call handle click, and we also display some text. The text is a message which is passed into the component as props, followed by the count state value. So the displayed text could be something like the count value is five. At the moment though, we have TypeScript errors. Property count does not exist on state and property message does not exist on props. We need to learn to fix these errors, which is precisely why we are here. Typing class components is a quick two-step process. Step one, we need to define the props and state type. So above the component, type counter props is an object which has one prop called message of type string. And then type counter state, which is an object with one property count of type number. Now for step two, we need to connect these types with the class component. And the way we do that is after the keyword component. Angle brackets, counter props, comma, counter state. And that is all we have to do. TypeScript is happy. You can now invoke the component in app.tsx, passing in the message prop. The count value is, which gets rendered along with the count value. Also, it is worth noting that you can choose to include just props or just state if your component doesn't need props or state. If you don't have props, specify an empty object. And if you don't have state, you can simply remove the state type as simple as that. So that is pretty much the basics of typing a class component in React. Starting next video, let's take a look at some of the more advanced types when it comes to React and TypeScript. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.